Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to configure an extended access list using Cisco Packet Tracer. In here, I have used a router, which is the main router, and here is two servers which are connected through this switch to fast internet zero or one interface of the main router and these three pieces which are connected through this switch to fast internet zero or zero interface of the main router i have assigned ip address for these two interfaces and these two servers and all these pieces you can see the IP address of all the devices are right here with the default gateway, which is the IP address of this two interface of the main router. I'm going to show you how to configure an external access list to allow PC1 to access the HTTP service of the main server and block these two pieces to access the HTTP service of the main server but at the same time these two pieces should be able to access the HTTP service of the branch server and other services like IP so I am going to router command configuration enable config here I am going to create an external access list. For external access list, we are using the number from 100 up to 199. So we go on and permit. TCP is the protocol which is used for IP traffic here. This source IP address. Destination IP address it is the HTTP port number. So I'm going to create an error access list to deny error pieces to access the HTTP service of main server. Here I'm going to create an error access list to permit other services because by default access list has a denial command. So I've created an external access list. You can see your extended access list by command to show you. Here, this command is used to allow PC1 to access the HTTP service of the main server and this command deny error PCs to access the HTTP service of the main server. And finally, this command allows error services. So I'm going to apply this access list to router interface. This was Access, access list here. Here, if you are applying access list in this interface, which is nearest interface for these pieces, you can use IP access group 100A. Or if you are using this interface, which is nearest interface for these two servers, you can use IP access group access list out and instead of any you can use out. So now we are going to test. This PC should be able to access the HTTP service of the main server. Yeah. And also HTTP service of the branch server. This PC able to think. Yeah. These two pieces should not be able to access the HTTP service of the main server. 
So we are going to test. But this PC should be able to access the HTTP service on the PAN server. Yeah. And also, they are able to ping. Also able to play. That's cool. So this was the easiest way how to configure and extend an access list using Cisco Packet Tracer. Hope you got it. See you in the next video tutorial. Thank you for watching.